guys welcome back in this tutorial we will create a custom rest web service and we will call this custom rest web service from postman so we will have a new we'll have a method inside of this service which is going to give you the student record based on the id so if you have given a id of xyz then it will pull up that record which belongs to that id so how we will do that so first thing is we'll go to the setup and type in here apex classes okay so this is going to be we'll go here and we will create a new apex class so i'm going to click here and it'll take me to this page and click on new so here let me increase the size and uh, we will use the first annotation that i'm going to use would be at the rate rest resource and uh, inside of this we will provide the url mapping parameter value so what this mapping parameter does is so anytime you make a call which includes this url okay so anytime you in your url you will say students info then the request will come to this apex class so this is the most important thing so this is going to be so let's say from your postman you are making a call slash apex slash services slash students info then this is where the call will come and depending upon what request method have you used like if you have used a get method or get request or a post request then the corresponding method of this apex class will be invoked so here i go ahead and specified my url mapping and then i'm going to create a class with this access modifier as global because it is going to be accessed outside of the salesforce so you have to call it global and the name of the class i will call it as student information service so this is going to be the name of the class so student information service and then inside of this class what i will do is because what i said is that from our postman we will be making a request and that request will also contains the id of that student and based on that id of the student we will retrieve the student information and we'll, we will send it back to the postman okay in the response create a class call it as global class student info so all the fields that i want to send back in the response i'm going to specify here so here i'm going to create think of it like a wrapper so here i'm going to send back let's say i wanted to send the student name so i will create a field to store the student name so i'll say student name and then i will have the getters and the setters so i'm going to specify the getters and the setters and similarly the next thing would be student address so i'm going to create a field to capture the student address and then here i will say student address and then a getter and a setter then the next thing would be student phone number so here it will be string student phone and uh, let me add a d here and then it's going to have the getters and the setters and then the last field that i will send will be the name of the school that they are enrolled in so i'm going to say string school name and there's going to be a getter and a setter so these are all the different fields that i will send it back so i've created a class inside of that main class and now inside of this student information service i'm going to create a method with the annotation of http get now what is this annotation tells me that this particular method is used to retrieve something you can't use this method to post or to create something new it is basically used to retrieve something now it is http get so when will this method will be invoked so from the postman if you are making a call as a get request which has this in the url then this is the method that will be invoked so now inside of this what i will do is first of all let me name the method the name of the method would be get student so it's going to be a global and static you have to use these keywords if you remember from our previous discussion and then the it's going to return you in data of the type student info which is nothing but this so it is going to return you an object of this student info and the name of the method will call it as get student 
So this is the name of the method. Inside of this method, we are going to retrieve the student ID. And based off that ID, we will fetch the student information like name of the student ID, address, phone, name, etc. And the name of the school he's enrolled in. And then we will send that in the response. Okay, we'll send it back. So first thing is I'm creating a, I'm fetching the request. So in order to fetch the request, you will use this rest context dot of request. So this is going to give you the request object back. So here, and I'm going to store that request in this rest request object. So if you want to know what was the request, so what I'm going to do is you're going to use this thing rest context dot of request it will return you the request object and you are storing that request object inside of this variable so we have rest request context dot of request so we are storing the request object into this variable and now what we're going to do is we are going to find out the id that has been sent in the request so how do i do that this is very simple so from this request variable in which we have the request, we are going to get the URI of the request. Okay, so we are going to say request URI dot of, not URL, URI dot of substring. This is the method substring. And we are saying request dot request URI dot last index of this is a method and we are finding hey give me the index of the last slash and then go one step further and give me whatever is after that slash in your request you are going to have it is going to look at the last index means the last slash that is in that request go one step further means the id would be provided go ahead and fetch that id and store that id inside of this variable student id okay this is where i'm going to store the id that has been passed in the request so in the request when you're making a request from a external application or let's say from postman itself you will be sending in the id of the student that you're interested in so this particular piece of code, what it is doing is it is fetching the ID that has been provided in that request and storing that ID inside of this variable called student ID. Now using this ID, we will make the query to the student record and we will fetch the student information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a select query. I'll say select, let me store the ID the name and address underscore underscore c i'm also interested in the student name so i'm going to say student name underscore underscore c i'm also interested in the phone number so i'm going to fetch the phone number field as well and then i'm also interested in which school he is studying in so i will be using the relationship field and will fetch the name field or the name of the school from the student so this is the custom object that we have created where the id is equals to whatever the id we retrieved from our request so based on the id that you have passed in in the request i'm going to fetch the student information and whatever information i have received i'm going to store inside of this object of this type student okay so whatever the select query has returned i will store in this variable now what we're going to do is we have to because the return type of the method is student info so we have to set up those values inside of this student info so i'm going to create an object of this student info std info is equals to new of student info and then here i'll say student info dot student name what will be the name of the student so from the query i have captured the name of the student as well so i'll say student dot give me the name and i will 
use whatever has been returned from the query i'll set up inside of this field similarly i'm also wanted to set up this value right student address so i'm going to say student info dot student address now what is this value it will be equal to student means whatever has been returned in the query and i'm returning the address field also so i'm going to whatever is in the address field i will get it and i will put it inside of this student address field then std info student info then this phone number let me go ahead and use the small letters so student phone number i'm going to have to set up this field and where will i get the value of this field from the select query i'm getting back the whole student record i'm getting up the phone number and putting it inside of this field similarly i will also set up the value of the school name so which school is he going to so here that value is returned in the select query this is the one school underscore underscore r dot of name so i'm going to just go ahead and copy this whole thing and say here and it is going to fetch the name from name of the school and put it inside of this field school name and then i'm going to say return std info so it's going to return the whole school so this is the api that i have this is the rest api the rest web service this is a rest web service class that i have created inside of salesforce and now any external application will be able to access this web service now what we can do is we can even call this rest web service from our postman and how we will do that let's go and find out so the first thing is we will go back to our postman here and uh, let's go ahead and close this so now here we will go back and create a new request and now we will make a get request because i have created a get h i'm using the annotation http get so in order for me to invoke this method i have to make a get request you can't make a post request and invoke this method no you have to make a get request because the annotation that i have used with this method is a an http get annotation so going back the request i'm going to make is of the type http get request and then what i'm going to do is let me go ahead and copy this whole thing and let's go back here and here i'll say services apex rest because we are we have a custom rest web service and then what is the name of the what is the url mapping this is the url mapping let me just go ahead and save this is the url mapping so whatever i have specified here this is what i will provide and then i'm also this particular method is looking at the request and it is fetching the id right so i have to provide the id of the student that i'm interested in so what i'm going to do is i'll go back and try to fetch a student record so i'll go here and uh, let's say i wanted to fetch this student and his id is this one so i'm going to copy the id of the student and paste it over here and then make a send request but one important thing is i have to get the access token so what i'm going to do i will go ahead and make this request this is my access token so let me go ahead and copy this access token and in the headers i will say authorization i have to set up this header and the value would be bearer because the token is of the type bearer and this is the access token value and now i will make the send request so you can see here it returned back the phone number of the student it returned me the name of the student address of the student and also it gave the school name so similarly if you change the id to another student record let's say i have changed it to this student record and this is the dipika kanna is the student address is mckinney and the phone number is there and he she is enrolled in mckinney high school and i'm going to copy the id of this student and uh, i'm going to pass it in over here and i'll go ahead and hit the send you can see here the status came back as 200 which is good and it returned back the phone number of the student the name of the student address and then the school name so everything got returned but i'm making a get request now if i try to make a post request and do a send you will see 
you gave a exception you got an exception the error and an error codes so when you made a post request instead of get you got a error code and it says method not allowed http post not allowed so you can only make these two requests the reason you can only make these two requests is because inside of your apex class you have only defined one method with the annotation http get there is no post method or a put method or there is no delete method nothing is there you only have one method of the type http get so when you have method of the type http get the only request that is going to invoke this method you can either make a get request or you can make a head request in order to invoke this method that is defined inside of this rest service since you try to make a post request it did not find a matching method inside of this students info service apex class that's why it gave you this error message so depending upon what your request you are making what type of request it is it is a get request or a post request or a put request the corresponding method will be invoked so if you had a post method inside of this apex class which is responsible to create new records then that particular method would be invoked since we only had one method inside of this rest class which is of the type http get and from the postman we are making a get request this is the url you have to specify the apex rest and then students info this is the url that you are using inside so any time a request comes with this url then this is the apex class that will be invoked and it has to exactly match so if i say something like info you this is not going to work because the url parameter did not match so you have to make sure that whatever is in the url parameter the same thing needs to be reflected here and this is the id now let's say if you don't provide the id what happens now this is the exception because there is no id you have provided and that's why it gave you an exception it tells you that there is no nothing got retrieved from the query and that's why you got a query exception because in your query you are saying give me the student whose id is whatever is in this value and nothing got retru retrieved here that's why you got an exception because the query didn't work so now you have to actually provide the right id so let me go ahead and get another id here and let's go ahead and copy the name of the student as shiv henna let's see if it gives you the right result i'm going to say control v and hit a send request yep shiv henna this is the phone number student address is texas and she studies or he studies in mckinney high school as well so this is how you create a custom rest web service inside of salesforce and you call that web service from postman